Here we have a frog model as covered by Biology 182 Zoology here at Golden West College in Huntington Beach, California. This is Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Subphylum Craniata, Infraphylum Vertebrata, Superclass Nathostomata, Class Amphibia, Order Anura. We'll start off here with the internal nares and the tongue, followed by the stomach, then the duodenum. Number 17 indicates the pyloric valve. Here we have the pancreas, the small intestine, and the large intestine, which is colored green. We'll find ourselves now with the liver and the gallbladder. This is the lung, fat bodies, oviduct, and ovary. Looking at the heart, we find ourselves with the ventricle, the right atrium, the left atrium, and then right here we can see the carotid arch, and there's a systemic arch. Down here below we have the urinary bladder, and these two large structures left and right are the kidneys. Now let's take a close look at those abdominal arteries. Specifically we have this very, very thin one, the ventral abdominal artery, and then this big bluish one here is the posterior vena cava. The bluish ones that connect the posterior vena cava to the kidneys are the urogenital veins. And the little red ones right here beside them are the urogenital arteries. And those connect the kidneys to the aorta, oftentimes called the dorsal aorta, shown here. That's the red one. In closing, we have three external anatomy structures we'll be looking at. Here we have the nictitating membrane and the tympanic membrane. The last structure is the cloaca, not shown on this model. Now looking at a couple of herp herpetological brains, we see here on the left-hand side this is an alligator brain, and the, here's our all big old long olfactory lobe to match their big old long noses. Here's the cerebrum, optic lobe, cerebellum, and the medulla. On the right-hand side we do have a frog brain with our olfactory lobe, cerebrum, optic lobe, cerebellum, and medulla. Continuing with our study of the frog anatomy, here we have a model of the frog heart. This structure here is the ventricle. This structure here is the ventricle. And then this is a piece of the right atrium. This is also a piece of the right atrium. Here we have the left atrium. This little flap labeled number six is the spiral valve. And the structure it's in is the conus arteriosus. Coming out of the heart anteriorly, we have three pairs of arches. We have the carotid arch, which is, is the red one. Systemic arch is the purplish one. And the pulmocutaneous arch is the bluish one. Looking at the dorsal surface of the heart, we find ourselves with three important blood vessels. Here we have the pulmonary veins, pulmonary veins, the anterior vena cava, and the posterior vena cava. 